In this video, we are going to discuss polar plot or Nyquist plot. So, do not confuse. So, here polar plot and Nyquist plot both are same. So, as we already discussed about these plots like uh, Bode plot, polar plot and Nyquist plot and M and N circles, all these are for stability analysis. When we are discussing about stability at the time of Routh array calculation, as I told you, so Routh array, Bode plot, Nyquist plot and M and N circles are used for stability analysis as we completed the previous two topics like Routh array and Bode plot. So, in this class, we are going to discuss polar plot and Nyquist plot. So, here in this class, we are going to uh, introduce so this polar plot or Nyquist plot. What is meant by this plot? How we will get this plot for a transfer function of the system? So, see here the polar plot of a sinusoidal transfer function g of j omega is a plot of the magnitude of g of j omega versus phase angle of g of j omega. So, for example, if g of j omega is a sinusoidal transfer function of any system, if you want to draw any polar plot or Nyquist plot, then you need to consider magnitude of g of j omega versus phase angle of g of j omega. You know how to calculate magnitude and phase angle for g of j omega. We already calculated for so many transfer function for this magnitude and phase. So, now after considering magnitude and phase, we need to consider, consider that magnitude of g of j omega and phase angle of g of j omega on polar coordinates as omega is varied from 0 to infinity. By varying 0 to infinity, so we need to consider this magnitude of g of j omega and phase angle of g of j omega on the polar coordinates then whatever diagram you are getting that is called as polar plot or Nyquist plot further that will be used for our stability analysis. Coming to this introduction when we are having introduction about this Nyquist plot it is better to take minimum phase system and non minimum phase system also. So, what is meant by minimum phase system? Why I even this to minimum phase system and non minimum phase system here means sometimes in so many technical exams they will ask like this they will give polar plot so they will ask whether the system is minimum phase system or not if the system is minimum phase system the minimum phase system are systems with all poles and zeros on the left half of a plane for example, if you are having a plane like this, so you know about zeros and poles in a transfer function. So, zeros can be calculated by equating all numerator polynomial to 0. Poles are calculated by taking denominator S terms to 0. So, if for a transfer function, if all the poles and zeros are in the left half of S plane, then we can say that is a minimum phase system. For example, in future, if you are getting any polar plot representing some poles and zeros, then if they are asking minimum phase system, then what we need to do? First, we need to see the poles and zeros according to the poles and zero if they lied in the left half of s plane then only we can say that is a minimum phase system then coming to non minimum phase system so the poles are either left side or right side of the system for example if you are having a polar plot so in that polar plot or according to that polar plot you can calculate the poles and zeros or you can imagine the poles and zeros if that poles and zeros not restricted to left half of s plane then we can say that is non minimum phase system for non minimum phase system the poles and zeros may be either left side or right side 
especially the poles for mini minimum phase system the poles are either left side or right, right side here we are not going to consider zeros especially poles poles can be either right side or left side then we can say that is a non minimum phase system so now here i given with a diagram so i given a diagram here this diagram represents so in next class onwards from next class onwards i am going to give you some polar plots of different types of systems type 1 system type 2 system type 3 system like that i already discussed about this type number of the system in my previous classes so here the type of the system how we can define a type of the system means so the number of poles at origin represents the type of the system for example the number of poles at origin means a term in denominator if you are having s term then that will represent pole at origin that means here for example if you are having any transfer function g of s is equal to 1 by 1 plus ks or anything so if you see the denominator there is no single s term here we are having 1 plus ks if you equate it to 0 you are getting some pole not the origin you are getting pole at some particular s is equivalent to some value that means minus 1 by k at minus 1 by k you are having some pole so here g of s is equivalent to 1 by s into 1 plus sk so here you are having a pole at origin you can say this is type 1 system one pole at origin if you are having s square then you can say that is you are having two poles at origin s cube three poles so this is type zero system this is type 1 system if s square is there then we can say that is type 2 system s cube type 3 system like that maximum type 3 is enough so now you can see this diagram to catch which polar plot is there for given transfer function for example in any technical exam like gate if you are given with any transfer function if they given polar plots in options by using this technique so you can trace the diagram the polar plot or nyquist plot for the given transfer function first you need to see whether the system is type 0 type 1 or type 2 or type 3 so here type 3 so you can just consider like this you just mention type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 this is just reference diagram so uh, for better understanding of polar and nyquist plot so type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 now itself i told you how to consider type 1 type 2 type 3 coming to order of the system so that is maximum power of s so if you consider here the order of s is equal to 1 if you consider here the order of s is equal to 2 so like that you can consider the order of the system i already told you how to consider the order of the system in the previous classes so in further examples also i am going to consider type and order of the system there also i will explain clearly with examples now you just see the technique so after mentioning type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 like this so you just consider first order second order third order fourth order like this and the directions are towards the origin from each and every side the direction is towards origin you can observe i given directions towards origin so now for example if you are given with a transfer function of any system sinusoidal transfer function of any system then you need to observe whether this system is type 0 type 1 or type 2 or type 3 after that you need to identify the order of this system the order of the system is first order if the system is first order system then the polar plot starts from this 
coordinate from this region if the order order of the system is second order and a type 1 so it will starts from here if the polar plot or if the transfer functions is type 2 and third order then it will starts from here if the system is type 3 and order 4 the polar plot will be starting from here so like this you need to imagine the polar plot of the system by using this method you can trace your polar plot for the transfer function of the system this is about a small introduction about nyquist and polar plot finally you need to understand four important points in this introduction class of nyquist or polar plot so first point is polar plot and nyquist plot are same so polar or nyquist plot is the plot of magnitude of sinusoidal transfer function versus phase angle of sinusoidal transfer function in the polar coordinates as omega is keep on varying from 0 to infinity this is what you need to understand and after that minimum phase system and non minimum phase system if all poles and zeros of a transfer function is lying in the left half of s plane then we can say that is minimum phase system so coming to non minimum phase system if poles are lying in the right half of or left half of s plane there is no restriction for the poles to lie only in the left half of s plane means so that is called as non minimum phase system coming to this diagram so this is for future reference to consider which polar plot can be opted for which transfer function so this will help you in future to pick the right answer for polar plot so here coming to here type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 is mentioned like this and all directions are towards 0 that means horizon so order 1 order 2 order 3 order 4 systems are like this according to type number and order of the transfer function or system so we are going to trace the exact polar plot or nyquist plot